In this video, we're going to be looking at solving equations algebraically when they involve fractions. We're going to start with this question. 6 equals 1 third multiplied by 8 plus x. And what I want you to think about before we start to solve is why would distributing make this question harder? What would distributing do to this question that would maybe make it harder? So if we look at this and we imagine distributing the one-third into the brackets, we should see that eventually we're going to be multiplying one-third by eight, which would end up giving us eight-thirds. And eventually, when we bring that constant term to the other side, we're going to be doing the number six take away eight-thirds. And working with a fraction like that, Yes, we might be able to do it, but overall it, it makes it a little bit more challenging of a question. So in this case, rather than distributing, it's going to be easier to do something called cross multiplying by the denominator by three. So imagine taking that denominator of three and bringing it up, we're multiplying the 6 by 3. So we end up with 6 times 3 equals 8 plus x. We can do this because I can rewrite my original equation as 6 equals 8 plus x all over 3. So I'm dividing everything on the right hand side by 3 so I can undo that, I can do the opposite of that by multiplying the number on the left hand side by 3. So giving us 18 equals 8 plus x or 18 take away 8 equals x or x equals 10. We can check that answer if we want to be sure by doing a left side, right side check. So on my left hand side I have 6. On my right hand side I have 1 third times 8 plus x. Subbing in 10 for x, I get 1 third multiplied by 18, or 18 over 3, which I can reduce to 6. So my left side and my right side are equal, which means x equals 10 is the correct solution. Let's try a more complicated example. Now I have 3 times y minus 5 in brackets all over 4 equals 7. Again, I can simplify this by doing that cross multiplying by 4. So taking that 4 that's in the denominator, bringing it up and cross multiplying by 4. So I end up with 3 times y minus 5 in brackets equals 7 times 4, or 3 times y minus 5 equals 28. I can then distribute the 3 into the brackets. So 3y take away 15 equals 28. Continuing to isolate for the variable, I move the negative 15 to the other side, it becomes positive, which gives me 3y equals 43, or y equals 43 divided by 3. And now I'm going to check and see if I can reduce that at all using the fraction button on my calculator, and I can't. 
So that's my final answer. Okay, here I have a question where I end up with a fraction on both sides. K plus 2 all over 3 equals K minus 4 all over 5. I can make this way simpler on myself if I start by cross multiplying. So multiply the right hand side by 3 and the left hand side by 5. So I have 5 times in brackets k plus 2 which when I distribute becomes k plus 10. On the right I have 3 times in brackets k minus 4 or 3k take away 12. Rearranging, bringing all the variable terms to the one side and all the constant terms to the other. End up with 2k equals negative 22 or k equals negative 22 divided by 2 which means that k equals negative 11. Again we can check using a left side right side check the left side was k plus 2 over 3, the right side was k minus 4 over 5. If I plug in negative 11 for k, on the left side I get negative 9 thirds or negative 3. On the right side when I plug in negative 11, I end up with negative 15 over 5 which also reduces to negative 3. So my left side and right side are equal. My answer is correct.